told you was true, from a certain point of view. A prophecy that Miss Red could have been. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Just unlearn what you have learned. My fellow Jedi and Padawan friends, this is Jason with Star Wars and Philosophy, and today uh, we have got a great video for you. We are going to talk about Supreme Leader Snoke. I'm here with my visual dictionary from The Last Jedi and my official collector's edition uh, guide from the movie, and there will be spoilers, theory, explanation so if you haven't seen the last jedi now is your chance to get out if you want to be entered into a drawing to win a gift card of your choice for twenty dollars here's how you do it you click on the subscribe button you're also going to need to share this video on social media that's all you have to do when i found you Raw, untamed power. And beyond that, something truly special. We're going to get into the theory in a minute, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of a breakdown here because the Supreme Leader Snoke in Episode 8 has a relationship with both Kylo and Rey. And it seems like he is going after both of them, which is very interesting. Okay, um, we haven't had that glimpse in the Star Wars universe where a master is just openly... I, I guess we did with Dooku and then Anakin, but it wasn't so blatant. Um, and I guess we actually did with Palpatine and basically bring, bring Skywalker here so that I can see which one of you I'm going to go with, okay? So I guess we really have seen this before, but he has a relationship with Kylo and Rey. So first, Kylo. And Kylo, he has a manipulative uh, relationship, a cruel, like, brutal, like, I'm going to demean you, I'm going to put you down, I'm going to make you angry at me, I'm going to make you question whether or not I'm going to keep you around kind of relationship. Uh, when he calls him in in that opening scene, he says, when I found you, I thought I had found something truly special. You know, a Skywalker who would be able to take down Skywalker. But in, in you are no Vader. You are no Vader. And, you know, take that stupid mask off, right? And... So that sends, you know, Kylo into the elevator shaft where he breaks his helmet, classic, you know, tantrum, Kylo Ren style. So that's his relationship with Kylo, which honestly just made me feel like he was kind of aching him on. Like he was just almost daring him, like, take me on, boy. So that, that, I just want to throw that out there as a little hint of where we're going with this. Rises. Me. It's bursting with knockout. Darkness rises and light to meet it. I thought it was going to be Skywalker, but in fact it was you, Ray. The same way that Snoke has reached out to Kylo from the womb, he has now reached out to Ray. And as she's on the on she's as she's on the island with Luke, she's seeing these forest visions, and then the dark side just starts calling her. It was Snoke, and even before she started that training, he forged that force bridge between her and Kylo, and manipulating the whole scene and getting Rey to feel sorry for Kylo, and that she would come to save him. Have you seen a weakness in my student? Right? And then with Kylo, he's playing him too on the whole other side and giving him compassion for Rey. And he's just playing on that compassion that he has for Rey. And that he knew that uh, he would, you know, bring her before him. So now he has a chance to just kind of, you know, pour into both of them and to, to turn Rey and you're going to give me Skywalker. 
right? And so that's the relationship he has with Ray. to the good stuff, right? This is what you all want to know. Is Snoke dead? First of all, let's deal with the first big question on the table. Who is Snoke? Now, we spent two years theorizing everybody from Jar Jar Binks to, you know, who knows what? Mace Windu, Luke Skywalker, Leia, Kylo Ren from the future. He could be anybody, folks. <laughs> I, we spent so much time on Snoke, and we were just played like a fiddle. You know, everyone, as soon as every book that came out along the way, everybody's like, is he Gallius Rex? Is he this guy? Is he the voice or this the dark side presence that Palpatine felt in the outer regions? And I, I think in some level, some of those things are going to be true, but everybody was just almost more disappointed that they didn't tell us who he was than he died. Okay, uh, so who is Snoke? I think it's going to be revealed. I think everybody needs to hang tight with all these questions that were unanswered and realize J.J. Abrams started the trilogy. He's going to end the trilogy. Ryan Johnson was in between. He was there while they were making the movie. He was writing episode eight while they were doing episode seven. He didn't see the finished product. He didn't have a chance to see all the fan explosions that just blew up. Okay. And so just like Ray, his conclusion is, you know, like she's nobody. And really with Snoke, uh, it remains to be seen if he's a, just a placeholder uh, so that Kylo Ren, Ren would be ready, somebody to train him in the dark side so that he would be ready to uh, you know, fulfill his destiny, as Snoke even puts it. So who is Snoke? We're just going to have to put that on the back burner. I know there's people already jumping in on the visual dictionary and the prime Jedi thing and, you know, ties to um, Palpatine and Plagueis and people quoting Ryan Johnson still thinking that he's Plagueis. I think we're going to get a novel. And Ryan Johnson also said that they're going to bring him back up in the second half of episode nine. Okay, so... We know that um, Snoke is not completely gone. They're probably going to have a novelization. Um, they're, they're going to tell us more. Maybe he's the focus of the new trilogy. We don't know. Maybe. Okay? But the bigger question here, and this was the coolest scene in the entire movie. Well, that's up for debate, right? But, you know, Kylo and Rey turning on Snoke, killing off his whole Praetorian Guard, and, you know, Kylo, here's, so I have to say this, okay? The question, is Snoke dead? The first time I saw the movie, I was just, I, I saw the scene and everybody, just like everybody, I think my mouth was just like, Wait, did, did that just happen? Did that just happen? Now, one thing that was kind of weird, and I don't know if any else, uh, anybody else picked this up, but every time they showed Snoke in the throne room, Afterwards, he was in like more and more pieces. I don't know if anybody picked that up, but I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if Kylo is just like, I'm going to make sure he's dead. You know, like throw in one of his tantrums. I don't know what's going on with that, but something seems like that's going on with that. But the first time I saw it, I was thinking, but how? 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 It, he's saying the whole time that, like, I can see his every thought, I can see his every action, I cannot be betrayed. And his whole thing is not physical. It's not lightsabers and, you know, force lightning and all sorts of stuff like Palpatine, you know, like, his uh, is all mental. His, his telepathy is forging force bridges, it's reading minds, it's throwing people around the room and without him even physically having to be present. I mean, my gosh, this guy was super powerful with his mind and in the dark side and in the light because he wanted to balance. And so how in the world is Kylo so easily 
trick him into not knowing that the lightsaber is turning on his side. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I, I, I'm just having a hard time seeing how Kylo, unless Kylo is really that powerful in the Force, that he can just manipulate Snoke, who is a master manipulator. I don't know. That's, but my the second time I went to see it, I, you know, because in between I'm listening to all these theories and all these other people talking about Snoke not being dead, and they were saying that he says, I see the lightsaber turning. And they were saying, you know, Kylo's lightsaber wasn't turning, but that's not true. When he was saying that was when he picked up his lightsaber and when he was turning it towards Rey. And he was doing that on purpose. He was turning it as he was saying that, almost so that he wouldn't realize that the other lightsaber was the real one that he was turning with his mind. Okay? And it's possible, it's possible that Snoke, in his hubris, in his pride, just couldn't imagine, I cannot be betrayed. Right? It's possible that he's just dead. That he is just dead and we need to move on. We didn't even know who he was and now he's dead. And what does that mean? But is that really the end of it, even if he is dead? So I want to go through some possibilities here. One, he is dead. And my question is how? How did Kylo do that? Okay, so that's first possibility. He is dead and he's really dead. The second possibility is he didn't really die. That we thought he was dead, he's up there, and he's laying still, but he's not really dead. And people are arguing he was cut in half, just like Maul was cut in half, and yet Maul came back, Clone Wars, Rebels, Maul's still there, right? But that's second option. Third option, he did die, but he will regenerate. I don't know about you, but this guy looks like he's been cut up quite a few times. And the way that he talked about being betrayed almost insinuates and makes me think that he's been betrayed before. Okay, and that's where people run with the Plagueis thing and Palpatine killing him in his sleep and all this kind of stuff. Okay, I don't think he's Plagueis. Okay, <laughs> but so he did die, but he will regenerate. Meaning that, you know, you saw the pieces all over the place. And then after Kylo and Rey and Hux left, then he just, whoosh, you know, through the force. And he's going to be right back there in episode nine. That's a possibility. The, the fourth is that he wasn't really there. Now think about this. After this, then we see Luke, who had previously disconnected himself from the force, now gets back in the fight. We see him force project himself all the way onto crates to where he can physically touch Leia, give her the dice, and then go out and he doesn't make a, a mark on the, on the, you know, we don't see the salt when his foot swipes. He's appearing in a different form. He intentionally appears in a form that's going to make Kylo angry. Going to get more into that with Luke video. But then, so the whole thing is there's this force power where he wasn't physically there. He was meditating somewhere and that he was physically able to be talked to, conversed with, touched, and then all of a sudden not. And it's almost like there's an on-off switch. And it's, you know, if Luke is, you know, powerful light, powerful darkness, if Snoke is the match for Luke... Then and, and Kylo is the match for Rey, okay, then if Luke can do this crazy stuff over here, then what makes us think that Snoke can't do it over here? And maybe Snoke's even more powerful than Luke, okay? Uh, and maybe if the, the tangible, you know, on-off switch, that he was able to be cut through physically, tangibly, and you can see him feel it, but that he, he wasn't actually dead. Now, that's possible. I don't know how it's possible, and they'd have to explain it, but it's possible. Now, the other thing is with all the Legends material, you got, you know, like Palpatine creating clones of himself. It's possible that Snoke has done the same thing, that he has created clones of himself. Then there's the substitute, 
that he could have possibly sent in somebody that looks like him or maybe doesn't even have to look like him. We're going to get to that in a second. And think about this. Padme in the prequels, she was like the master of this. And she always has somebody that, you know, the official queen they were talking to wasn't really her. And she was really there amongst everybody else the whole time. And, you know, Palpatine disguises himself in his true form. Okay, then so that's a, a possibility. Then we got the projection theory. Okay, listen to this. This is from the Last Jedi Visual Dictionary. The main heading under Supreme Leader Snoke. This is page 34. It says, Though his name is known to the galaxy and his reputation as the Supreme Leader of the First Order precedes him, few have ever seen Snoke in the flesh. He obscures himself with distance, being forever unreachable, save for a select few who can contact him directly. Who would those be? They would be Hux. They would be Snoke. They would be, you know, the Praetorian Guards, maybe. They would be, the, you know, these weird purple guys that are in his, snow, his throne room, the alien guys that he enslaved. And then, you know, Ray's welcome because she's a captive in his presence. So we think, listen to this. Even under such circumstances, what circumstances? Few contacting him directly. Snoke disguises his true nature. Whatever frailties have broken his body are dwarfed by the immense size at which he typically projects his form. So, I wonder if what was going on is that nobody actually knows what Snoke looks like. Not Hux, not Kylo, and certainly not Ray, not Luke. Nobody knows because the guy is so mysterious and so distant and he, he, he only communicates through projections. He's super powerful in the force to where he doesn't physically have to be present in order to whip people around the room and um, do all sorts of crazy stuff. Okay? So it's possible that Snoke wasn't really there. I don't know how that all works out. It's possible that Snoke wasn't really there. And Here's the even crazier theory is that Kylo created the whole thing in order to try and turn Rey. How powerful would Kylo have to be in order to do that? Now, that's another possibility. Now, another possibility is he died, but he transfers his essence. Okay, this is something that's been talked about for a long time as a possibility, but that, you know, Snoke, when he dies... His spirit basically goes into Hux or whoever, maybe with the alien guy, okay? And, and that he it transferred his essence. I don't know about that one. Uh, and that last possibility is he died on purpose. Now, he created the whole Force Bridge for the, the distinct purpose of getting Rey and Kylo there in front of him so that he could manipulate them hopefully turn Rey and Kylo have them both enslaved under him he's not a Sith it's not the rule of two okay and so maybe he did it on purpose and this goes to something in the concept art which I don't have in front of me but in the concept art they almost had a Sith force ghost appear to Luke on Act 2. And in that caption, it talks about how the Sith have been trying to do what the Jedi have been able to do, and that is to become Force Ghosts because, because they know that the final battle has to be fought in the spirit world. Holy cow. What if... The reason why Supreme Leader Snoke was so harsh, so mean, so cruel, 
to Kylo is because he was egging him on the whole time. And he knew he was his true enemy. And he wanted Kylo to go fully into the dark side to become the supreme leader in this world. While he goes ahead of Skywalker into the spirit world. Maybe that's even why Luke met him. And why Luke had to die and go to fight Snoke in the spirit world. So what are the possibilities for episode 9? If this is true, if any of it is true, if Snoke is really dead or Snoke is really not dead, if Snoke is really dead, then the possibility is that we might see that final battle, which is episode 9, supposed to tie in together all the trilogies. Could you imagine Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, Anakin, Luke taking on... You know, Palpatine, Snoke, Bane, Revan in the spirit. Are, are you kidding me? This could possibly go down. Now, I don't want to start a theory that's going to make everybody's you know, hype for episode 9 so high and expectations that nothing could possibly match it unless they do this. But when I told my kids this, they were like, I want to see that now. Oh my gosh, I want to see that. I, I, you know what? I want to see that. I want to see I, I, if that's going to be the last in like the trilogy series and they're just going to do the anthology films, then man, end it that way. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. And then the other possibility is this, is that the First Order chooses Kylo over Snoke. If Snoke isn't really dead, but he wasn't really there, and Kylo convinced everybody that Snoke is dead that Rey killed Snoke, then he's already acknowledged as the Supreme Leader now. Going into Episode 9, what if Snoke comes back? But yet, the First Order has already gone with Kylo. What if they don't like Snoke? What if they don't want to be under Snoke anymore? And they choose Kylo, and now Snoke is the enemy of Kylo, and that Snoke, Kylo, and Rey are all on separate teams Whoa, that would be an awesome episode nine as well. And, you know, along this, you know, along these lines, I just have to say, I don't know if anybody else caught it, but what is sitting there? Okay. Not only did he get cut in half, like I mentioned, he seems to be in more pieces every time you see him, but his hand, Snoke's hand is sitting on the throne room still. And his ring is there. And his ring was created with obsidian from under Vader's castle and Mustafar and the dark side powers. Okay, And his, his ring has the etchings from the Duarte, which has ties to Palpatine and to Plagueis and the dark side. He's not a Sith, but he has ties. These statues that were in Palpatine's office. Okay, This is the Duarte. There's... And... Episode 9, the working title, Black Diamond. Snoke's hand was sitting there with the ring that could very well be the meaning of Black Diamond. So I just threw out a mess of theories. I have no idea which one's true. I just hope that one of them's true. I hope it's not just as simple as Snoke is dead and Kylo is ruling and we're not going to hear any more from Snoke. I hope it just sends Star Wars, like I said, blowing the doors off of the Force. Everything we thought about the Force before, they are blowing the doors off of it. And I'm excited for what's going to come in episode 9. I want to hear your comments down below. What do you think about all of this? Which of those things, which of those possibilities do you think is the most likely and why? And do you think we're going to see Snoke in episode 9? Do you think that we're going to learn more about Snoke in between? Do you have any, any theories of your own that you would like for me to cover or you would like to just share in the comments down below? And until next time, may his force be with you. Now, fulfill your destiny. 
want to encourage you, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share this video with others and this channel with others. It helps every time you do that. It actually helps the channel out financially, and it helps us to grow and get in front of others.